Hello and welcome back to Frostpunk when we are where we are on the last stage of our generate on our tour building. And it's taking 50 exchangers and 20 composites. So that's not good. <laughs> okay. Gee whiz. Okay, we need 25 first. That's, we are not even close. We are not even close. What? Oh, end of toxic danger. Okay. Sir, now that the core of the generator is finished, we were able to seal the whole structure tightly. The toxic gases venting from the source can no longer reach the surface. We don't have to worry about them anymore. Oh, am I glad to hear that? Yes, they are gone. Great. So everything is safe now, right? We can we can turn this off. We don't need to air filter anything. Okay. Ah, uh, maybe maybe one more resource depot. What up? Chaos Rising, news from London. With the heart of the generator finished, the project is nearing completion. Thank God! Amid the political turmoil back home, word get out that, the most, that most generators won't be operational on time, causing widespread panic. The interim government set up a lottery system, but people can't claim it's rigged. Of course it's rigged. How would it not be rigged? The situation is volatile and the authorities brace themselves for riots. The country is sinking to chaos. We won't fall. And uh, yeah, this is certainly going to look like a utopian comparison at least. So I guess that's the way we get our utopia. Through comparison to a hellhole. It's a lot of unemployed people because they were working here. Whew. We need steel, so much steel. cannot build upgrade the docks. Should have done it before, but it doesn't matter at this point. I mean, does it? If the ships will not be coming? Try to bring one more. <laughs> Nothing to lose, maybe. Okay, wood. Um, so, yeah, this is useless now. So let's forget about it. Primaries will heal people faster. Not probably not the most important thing right now. Ah, uh, this will not. It's too late for this, I feel. Just get that going. Last orders. Sir, with the impending interruption of navigation, this is our last window to order resources through the telegraph station. Afterwards, there won't be enough time for the shipment to come through before the temperature drop. Place the order. It's already gone, so... Uh, the steel situation is just dire. We will not have enough. How do I? How do I do this? There is a thousand steel in here. Need it. I guess it's for noobs like me who didn't stop well enough. All right. So need. How many more? 11? Eleven for just one of these. My goodness, that's not good. 
Sir, an overseer got in an argument with a worker during which the worker slapped him. The overseer demands exemplary punishment. It's not about my injury, which is mostly to my pride, says the engineer. This is about our authority as overseers. Without it, we can't serve the company. The worker is unrepentant. Treat others with respect and you'll, or you'll get your ugly mug smashed. No, issue a stern warning. Dude, she just slapped you, maybe you were rude. Don't be a drama queen. Now we are also getting running out of food. Well, isn't that wonderful? Well, we won't be needing these soon. But we also can't fish, so we will be out of food. We will just starve. What the fuck? We will lose. I will lose again? No. That cannot be. Cannot be. But it may be. Okay, let's stop researching stuff. Maybe we did research too much and we are now out of steel. Need four of these and we needed ten of these, right? Ten steel. We need two two of those or just one because I'm not sure right now. Letters from home wanted. Sir, a shocking letter arrived at the Manchester Constabulary. It appears that one of our engineers is suspecting several gruesome murders. The police wants to question him and he is asking us to send him back in the first outbound ship. The man claims he's innocent, obviously. What should we do? Quiet round of snow, send him back. If he's guilty of murders, well, let him get de defense at home. No riots will erupt. Cold homes. I. <laughs> okay, let's hit some homes. I guess it's time that we. Oh no. Oh no. that there is two thermal hills. The last ships. As the last ships prepare to leave under the watchful eye of the armed overseers, a group of desperate people charges the docks, intent on forcing their way aboard the ships. They won't stop unless you use force. You will be safer here. No. I mean, we probably don't need them. That's why I'm wondering about it from gameplay perspective. But I think we should stop them. It's not fair either way.
Two days behind schedule. We are not getting two thermal holes. We don't have steel for that. Not even close. We are alone. The camp wakes in an eerie silence. With the last ships gone, we can no longer count on any outside support. No supplies, no mail, no way to evacuate in an emergency. We are on our own. So motivation is like, goodbye, don't care. I'm not here anymore. Oh snap, the sea has frozen. Well, can we reach this? Yes. Okay, so, so, so wait, 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 wait. So the sea has frozen, we can actually reach the ship. And this is inoperative, so let's destroy it. Let's destroy it. Great, we don't have food. We are, we are, we are dead. That's that's it. Where are we supposed to get food now? Uh, none. Maybe we should have been gone harder on food, I guess. Hmm. Promise everybody will just starve before we are anywhere near done. I think I won't be restarting this, but I think I'll have to reload the save earlier. I have made saves after every every milestone, so we'll have to just go back a bit and just start to stop our food or something. I didn't think it would be so difficult on the medium difficulty going in blind like this. But it is. What? Sir, with the cold upon us, people are getting worried about food shortage. So do I! There are complaints that overseers are abusing their authority to control the food ration distribution, putting themselves ahead of everyone. They know what's best. We don't have any food to distribute. What are you talking about? Everybody will starve. Equally. The problem is we need two of these. That's ridiculous. There's just no way. What? Sir, we are getting low on steel. Thankfully, we have new source of it. One of the few advantages of the cold is that since the sea froze, it became possible to reach the nearby wreck on foot. We can now send people to scavenge steel from it, although they will have to work in extreme conditions. You know what? I can give them a heater. The problem is we don't have any food! What do you mean? It was, it was certainly highlighted. It is not anymore, though. Gross. Fine. Oh, the reloading stations are still... Alive. And we have two of them, so we need eight. We cannot get eight. And we need uh, 25 of these, which is not happening. Everybody will starve in seconds. Three days behind schedule, are you serious? Wow, how did I fail so hard? We were so far ahead. And then suddenly, disaster. <laughs> oh my goodness, how can I be so bad? And now it's cold. Yeah, we can make homes probably. No, we cannot because they are not uh, actually livable now. They are chilly. Discontent rises, gro global strike risk by one! 
Lovely! And there is mild frostbite, we know these. Oh, how the cookie crumbles. This is not even close. Sir, it turns out that the unique heat con conduction properties of steel composites we're using to build the generator have some very un unforeseen side effects. The empowered generator is very, very cold. Despite gloves they wear, some of our people get frostbite from merely remaining in contact with it for prolonged periods of time. Sadly, we have to perform amputation on five people. Wait, ain't that nice. I should have probably turned on the heater if I knew that could happen. I mean, obviously, this is uh, this is doomed already, so I'm just checking out what else awaits us. <laughs> and we'll have to go back to checkpoint three or something. Because this is just... Yeah, 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 I broke my promise. Te everybody will starve anyway, so whatever. Whatever, man. Those hearty meals! Bad idea. We should have never gotten them. Never ever. Oh, there's an actual hail outside my window. Huh. That is not common. Hail and storm in the middle of February. What? What? I don't know. Weird. Okay, let's lose the game. get one of these get it for me please just spam everybody will die but let's just see what happens um sir the people working on the construction site really appreciate that you turn the heater on but most of them are complaining that they <coughs> sorry Wow, okay. That they can barely feel the heat from their workstations, allowing us to take short breaks to warm ourselves up would go a long way. Uh, <clears throat> don't push it, we cannot afford it, we are just... We are pushing it. <laughs> so the steel becomes, now we know, the steel becomes a horrible bottleneck. Horrible bottleneck. I want to dress it. Whatever. Now I see it could be useful, but we just... We don't have food, so it doesn't matter. Everybody will just die anyway. I just want to see what happens. Maybe we can push through. <laughs> <laughs> Finish this. Get get heat. Supercharge. Ah, use little force to pacify them. I will not process uh, promise changes. The end of Utopia. Ah, I am on the higher this, the more workers talk about striking. Let them! <laughs> Christ, preacher. Sir, a crowd is gathering by the generator and the tall, wiry man who's shouting, gesticulating quietly. We build this tower of Babel against the God, our Lord. And now his wrath is kindled against us. So he sent this great frost to smite us. Repent! Lay down your tools and pray! Most people are just gazing, but you kneel next to him. Silence him! Well, the discontent is... Oh, it's super high anyway. Silence him! Strike and I will strike you down. We need this ton of this. We cannot get a ton of this. <laughs> Prostitutes checked well. I'm glad we still have our priorities straight. It's the hunger. 
Sir, one of our people was caught in the dead of night harvesting body parts for, of a recently deceased person. It seems it's not just the first time he was using the dead as sustenance. What should we do with him? Let the poor wretch go. Exile him and what? There is no food. What do you mean no resources in range? I won't address this right now. I cannot. I don't have food. I failed. Why not? Oh, maybe these don't just don't work at all. But that's so weird. They should be. Maybe if we had that going, it would have been better. I just did not. I just assumed they could do that. <laughs> but I get they because they did say they will be working in horrible conditions. So maybe that's what they meant. There is no gathering post here. Yeah, but they don't work. <laughs> all right then. Well, shit. Assumptions, assumptions lead to disasters, because that's why we don't have any steel. <laughs> Let it burn. Sir, eight people did not show to work for this morning. The co-workers went to check up on them only to find them frozen in their beds. They all took them in their sleep. I know. We didn't in improve these, <laughs> they are too weak. Use lethal force to pacify them. Nothing else we can do. Give our prostitute a heater. Hey, it's the thing, it's the hunger, sir. Sir, a group of our people wants to talk to you about hunger relief. They hesitate for a long while until an engineer begins. The man who was stealing and eating bodies, what he did was wrong. But sir, we are starving and the dead, well, they're gone anyway. Might as well do some good for the living. It's better to live and ask forgiveness than to die cursing the day signed up for this whole escapade. We are not cannibals. Well, I'll think about it. And so it begins. I didn't think I would ever get this source while actually trying to, <laughs> to succeed at the game. But there it is. Alternative food source. In desperate circumstances, we must do the unthinkable to survive. We won't let the bodies of our dead go to waste, but our discontent is too high. <laughs> oh. People are hungry, cold at home, bad healthcare, overtime work, deadly working conditions, dangerous working conditions. Where? Break. Break. That should have been gone a long time ago. Uh, that actually didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> Watch me care. Actually, I care. I steal. Sir, the head overseer reports that the recent actions against the workers was met with increased resistance which caused heavy casualties. It's not the first time we went after the strikers and bastards were prepared. Fought back with axe and handles, spades, throw stones. We beat them of course, but plenty got hurt. Some of ours too. This is how it's going to look like from now on, I fear. <laughs> yeah, I fear too, but... We have just everybody sick. Everybody's starving. I don't care. I don't care. It's, it gives us one steal an hour. Can go on, go away. <laughs> oh wow, amazing! That's just, that's just amazing. Well, let's see how uh, how the, the how the end looks like, like right? <laughs> we cannot even become cannibals because everybody's too unhappy to become cannibals. They are too hungry to become cannibals. Get to your now. 
Um, I call this Utopia, huh? Nice. That worked out. Well. Well, well, well. <laughs> what a disaster. Oh my god. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> Sir, the woman who was allegedly molested by an overseer confronted him in the street and stabbed him with a knife. He died of his wound shortly after. It appears he didn't have any friends, not even among his co-workers. Well, shit. We sided with her. Didn't matter. People are hungry. I want to dress this right now. I cannot sign the alternative food source. They are just way too unhappy about everything. Oh, you know what? You know what? I think this will be the end of this episode. I'm not gonna sit here and wait for everybody to die. Because we are actually not going to get to finish this. We have just 10 of these and we need 25 of them to even try to finish it. For the, the crummiest of endings. Ugh. It's just 16 steel for one. We would need... <sighs> Goodness. Oh, like 200 steel. We are not getting it. We are just not getting it. It's just like we are... Wow. <laughs> okay. Oh, this will be it for this episode. I will have to see what, where I went so horribly wrong. <laughs> I'll have to see what the hell happened. We have way too many steam cores, by the way. I thought we would need more. We don't. Um, mistakes. Mistakes were made. <laughs> now we know. Okay. <laughs> have a good one. And I'll see you next time for attempt number three. Probably from the middle somewhere. <laughs> Bye.